Insomniac Hack just became the biggest and worst leak in the history of gaming. I'm just going to skip the intro telling you to like and subscribe and get right into it because there is a lot to talk about and it's ladies and gentlemen we gotta have an emergency meeting immediately okay what the actual f just happened okay today we have one of the biggest gaming league ever not that not just that we have the gameplay league we also have the demo league a playable demo oh, shit. got leak yeah that's right if you have a playstation dev kit ps5 dev kit you can play wolverine right now that's not even cap. That's not even clickbait. That's what happened. Everybody's talking about it. But the biggest thing here is this, right? Obviously, a lot of people are going to be like, hey, man, do you remember the GTA 6 leak? Is it bigger than the GTA 6 leak? It is bigger than the Lucia Borna leak, ladies and gentlemen. Bruh. Hell yeah, this is getting out of hands, man. I feel like that in this day and age, nothing is sacred anymore. Like, nothing is exclusive or what, what's the real word? Nothing is secret uh, anymore. Uh, not only that the gameplay got leaked, playable demo got leaked as well. And also we're hearing that employee information got leaked out and their passport scans are also leaked out. This is just absolutely insane. It's like one thing to leak gameplay. It's like that, you know, back in September of 2022, we had that Lucia Burna getting leaked, all right? And, and, and that was one thing. That was one thing. And yeah, sure, seeing the gameplay leak is one thing, but it's completely different when, you know, passport scans get leaked out. Brad, that is insane. This is like the cyberpunk future that, you know, they warned us about. This is why they said that do not store your information on the internet. And I can definitely see this happen more in the future, going in the future. Like, we, I guess nothing is gonna be secret no more. And what's gonna happen with Wolverine and, uh, the future projects that got leaked out we're gonna check this video out guys like and subscribe if you're brand new and let me show you guys this as well uh and, and the xbox fanboys are definitely going crazy right now just like how the like playstation fanboys went insane when that red fall red fill happened the xbox fans they're not leaving the chance right now they're going crazy i mean listen man y'all suckers need to get hit by a family full of cactus uh in your dreams bruh uh, listen, I'm not that savage, okay? I hope you get hit by a family full of, or you sit on a family full of cactus. How the F a pre-alpha footage of Wolverine from Insomnia Games looks better than all Xbox games came out this <laughs> <laughs> this gen lamel this is uh, i cannot play obviously this is the leak and this is like redfall red fail on the right is the xbox next gen game though so that's a sony pony that's a playstation fanboy right there because the xbox fanboys are going absolutely wild and calling wolverine to be trash may this and that and i mean damn guys like it's just an alpha gameplay right uh so sigas are doing the comparison playing the schlong measuring contest game then we have rhino said that did you know video game looks here like this early in development <laughs> uh this uh, this is the god of war ragnarok i believe or god of war 2018 pre-alpha footage uh this is obviously official stuff they officially released it in fact that was like from 2014 so this is yeah god of war 2018 and in 2016 they revealed this is spider-man pre-alpha this is uncharted 4 that came out in 2015 if i'm not mistaken or 2014 uh but 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 this is before this is the last of us 2 but that's strong independent abby the brock lesnar that's the one game that had abby the brock lesnar we have mighty keeps up people who are criticizing leak pre-production footage of Wolverine are getting absolutely obliterated in their comments and cute uh, quote retweets that's what I like to see from the gaming community absolutely then you have uh, the another PlayStation fanboy going crazy at the Xbox fanboys who are actually criticizing this Xbox leaks Microsoft may actually do gaming business by 2027 and this is something that Phil uh, you know this was leaked out as well just like how there are plans of uh, 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 Wolverine leaking out the next Spider-Man game and there's like a bunch of other games that got leaked out and also the craziest thing here is that guys y'all might want to sit down for this one okay so internally it got leaked out that PlayStation is worried about Call of Duty going exclusive after 2027 on Xbox oh, shit. Oh, shit. they are worried about it the Xbox fanboys are going off right now the PlayStation fanboys are going off uh, and, and be sure uh, that got leaked out that is leaked information 
<laughs> from today a and this was also leaked information and this is like a couple of months old or in fact this post was posted on september the 20th but i believe it was leaked even before that so microsoft did say they may exit the gaming business by 2027 if the game pass doesn't succeed uh playstation leak fans eating good till 2035 wolverine looks awesome even though it's a pre-alpha footage man the gaming community man the sony ponies and the xbox can never come together bruh this is uh, this is just so so bad this is nothing but First, I want to give a shout out to Insomniac Games who are really going through it right yep. now. People are getting so caught up in the leaks about the games. They're forgetting not only was a lot of hard work just ruined, but the hackers also stole and released very personal information of Insomniac yeah, yeah. employees. So their lives are at risk as well. We all love games, but let's- Yeah, man, that is absolutely wild that, yeah, like all the employees probably had to give their private information to work at the, obviously like that, they had to work, uh, they had to give that information to be able to work at the studio you know, imagine like your passport got leaked uh like that that's that's insane man that's that's absolutely wild let's not lose sight of the fact that real humans well. are the ones who have to make them now as i previously reported insomniac games was hit with a ransomware attack where the hacker group demanded money or they would release everything they stole at the same time they also hosted an auction for the stolen material with a starting bid of 50 bitcoin which is about two million dollars at the time i told you based on what they initially leaked you would soon probably have to start muting key words on social media to avoid spoilers well direct nation that day has come but the amount of stuff you'll have to mute to avoid uh, in my honest opinion there weren't like too many spoilers though the only thing that was spoiled was the game names right the, the future game names and most of them we already knew right like ratchet and clank uh, spider-man 3 like shocker yeah they're gonna happen there's like one other game i'm not gonna name the name because that's like uh it's not brand new it's something we all saw coming but some people definitely did not see coming so i'm not gonna say the name uh but if you mute the words for wolverine i mean damn like there were no spoilers in that aspect the spoilers were for the upcoming games so you have to tell people the name in order for them to like uh mute the keyword and by the time you mute it it's like you already know the name then the, then there's like no point but apparently this is keep on leaking though so maybe i i guess you gotta do it maybe i Bruh. i know i'm like contradicting myself but the reason is because it's still coming out we're hearing that 1.7 terabyte of data got leaked oh, out shit. Oh, yeah 1.7 terabyte I mean, even the Lucian Bruna was not that big, okay? It was big. It's gonna be big in file size, but not that big. This is this is insane, dog. Bullers is actually just crazy. You basically would have to just mute Marvel in its entirety from the internet, but don't worry. Uh, okay, I agree with that because like, yeah. I got the best <laughs> anti-spoiler method at the end of the video. If oh, you want to avoid getting spoiled now oh, and in the future for any- Homie co uh, coming in clutch right now. Homie coming in clutch. Movie, show, or video game leak. So after seven days, the hacker group kept their word and released most of what they had, which ended up being over- Man, that's like, I'm not sure whether that's like hilarious or sad. The hackers kept their word, bruh. Like, I mean, bruh. Because nowadays, bro, game devs and gaming companies don't keep their word. I I'm not talking about Insomniac in this situation. And obviously, listen, I love the leaks. I love talking about the leaks and rumors. But I love talking in terms of, like, game information. Not necessarily spoilers or... And also, not, definitely not, like, the personal information, the private information uh, of the devs, their address, their name. Which, obviously, we're not going to talk about here. And I didn't even bother looking at that stuff. And I didn't... Actually, I never got across their address, which is actually good so people are not sharing that much people are most people are only talking about the game leaks and also the gameplay which is okay you know what like that's that, that's better obviously like a leak of this size you cannot stop people from talking about it that it's just there's no way that it's possible so is gonna talk about it so is gonna talk about it so is gonna talk about it okay over 1 million files which totaled 1.6 terabytes of data but that was only 98 percent of what they stole the rest was held back from releasing publicly because Crazy. they were able to sell it directly to a buyer but based on what ended up getting released they got nearly everything employee passports and hr Holy. documents information about guerrilla games and their current project they what oh shit oh shit 
Bro, that's a different studio altogether, bruh. Like, why? Like, bruh, bruh, bruh. Bra. I mean, yeah, it's like PlayStation Studio, so they had like all this studio information. This is insane. They stole the licensing agreement between Marvel Games and Insomniac. The hackers confirmed they targeted Insomniac and Sony intentionally, not because they care about games, of course, but purely for money, and they thought a gaming company would be an easy target, which apparently Crazy. it was, as according to them, it took less than 30 minutes to access the network. And and the results are devastating. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Less than 20 30 minutes, dog. It is Joe over though. <laughs> that is, man, that is like, listen, man, I'm not laughing at this situation, but I'm laughing at this situation. Bruh. Bruh, like, yeah, dog. Like, yeah, leaking gameplay is like one thing, but leaking like somebody's BBC, somebody's like personal information, that's completely different, though. Like, damn, man. We living in a crazy time, bro. This is why I say, guys, nothing is secret no more. Even you smashing the like button is no secret no more. Oh, I know who's smashing the like button right now, bruh. Stating, everything Insomniac planned for the next 10 years has been exposed. The identity of nearly all of their upcoming games, the budgets, the targeted release years, everything. But it gets worse. Their next game, Marvel's Wolverine, was completely compromised. They didn't just walk away with concept art and screenshots. They released full gameplay and animation tests, cutscenes, the cast list, and the entire story of the game. You can't even- Yeah, that, that, okay, that's a spoiler, 100%, 100. Ding, 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 time out. Yeah, that, that's definitely, uh, oh uh, yeah, okay. I, I would recommend then, uh, silencing the words, guys. I want to know your thoughts. Click on this video on the screen because we had- a brand new leak for GTA 6 once again. Oh, oh, Yay, click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. We've got new leaks for that.